Go ahead. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Sarah Hollowell of Hope for the Harvest Ministries. The title of the message for the prophetic voice is Do You Walk Your Talk? We are known by our actions. There are people that are pleasers. They will say and act a way that will have them fit in. Technically, they are completely opposite. Sadly to say, there are Christians like that. They don't walk their talk. The Lord does not approve of lukewarm Christians. You are either sold out completely for Jesus or not. Don't give mixed messages, because if you do, it will cost you your salvation. The Lord says, My dear children, you cannot fool me. I know everything about you. Remember, I created you in my image. I know who is and who is not following me. You have the freedom to follow me or not. I give you the choice. On Judgment Day, everyone will answer to me. And I, and only I, know the outcome of where you will spend eternity. There are many pleases that are and are multiplying. They have two sets of groups they associate with. One group are the ones that are walking with me, and the other group live a life of drinking, drugs, carousing, and doing things that's an abomination to me. My children, if you do not walk your talk with me, how do you expect me to acknowledge you? If you live a double life, how do you expect to win souls for me, lost souls for me? I will not tolerate my children who live a double standard. I created you in my image, and not for you to live to please others, says the Lord. And in the book, of Second Kings chapter 17 verses 28 and 29 it says then one of the priests whom they carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in Bethel and taught them how they should fear the Lord however every nation continued to make gods of its own and put them in the shrines on the high places which the Samaritans have made every nation in the cities where they dwell. Saints and loved ones and the ones that are walking with the Lord, remember, we can walk the talk completely if we look up where our help comes from and do the work of the Lord. God bless you and have a blessed week.